and welcome back to another Transformers Bumblebee review. In today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Transformers Bumblebee Energon Igniter Nitro Series Optimus Prime. Starting off with the packaging, as you can see, you've got a picture of the figure in its truck mode, very G1 inspired. Picture of Bumblebee Transformers Energon Igniter. The side of the packaging has that same image that has been seen on all of the Bumblebee merchandise. You've got the authentic Transformers stamp. The back of the packaging showcases the figure in the robot mode, the vehicle mode, how many steps he transforms into, all the different steps, Energon Igniter, as well as how to utilize the gimmick when in truck mode. And finally, the side of the packaging has a really nice piece of artwork of Optimus Prime, from which I'm guessing is from the new Bumblebee movie. You've also got that it is from the Nitro series. And here we have Optimus in his robot mode as he is packaged. Now, starting off with the details, as you can see, the head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. It's got a real nice variety of paint application on there, as you can see. You've got the silver paint applied over the sculpt to bring out some of the sharper details. And it's a really impressive looking head sculpt pupils have been picked out in a very nice all spark blue unfortunately the back of the head is completely hollow however this is a gimmick toy so you can't expect too much this whole design is very reminiscent of the evasion mode optimus as well as the first movie prime gone are the days where he looks like he doesn't transform as was seen in the last night as you can see here you've got the chest section which has been detailed impeccably well and you've got some silver paint in the middle the windows have been picked out in a glossy black you've got the autobot insignia the arms are quite nicely detailed as well there's some mechanical detailing of pistons and the forearms have been picked out in a silver paint. Moving down to the crutch area and to the legs, as you can see the detail still carries on, however the paint does become rather scarce. He is very similar to how he looked in his evasion form. This whole figure really does just look like the evasion mode Optimus Prime, the Voyager from Age of Extinction, which I will show you a comparison of in just a bit. Turning to articulation, the head can do the, the full 360 degrees twist, the arms can rotate all the way backwards as well as hinge out to the side. He is one of the few to have swivels just above the elbow and due to transformation, he also has double jointed elbows, which is really nice. He does have waist articulation, however, it is slightly hindered by this back section here. However, the waist is mainly to accommodate the transformation. The legs are on ratchet joints, so they can kick forward and backwards that far. Unfortunately, there is no knee articulation and the figure can do the splits to a fair degree. There is no foot articulation unless you detach it for the transformation and even then it's quite rendered useless so in terms of articulation the figure is definitely not a brick but it's nowhere near as poseable as some of your deluxes and voyager class figures for comparison here is the nitro series optimus prime compared with the 2014 evasion mode voyager class as you can see they are very very similar in design almost every element of this figure does look as if though it has been copied for well, this figure, you've got the two wheels on the bottom side of the leg with one wheel at the top. Even some of the color choices here and the blue legs are very, very similar. Besides here, it's got the red shins. Torso area is too very similar. So it does just look like Hasbro have used this for inspiration for making this toy. Whether Optimus does appear in the movie looking like this is yet to be seen. I know he has been confirmed and there has been some footage shown that does have Optimus in the movie, apparently looking very G1-esque. So perhaps this is how we will see him in the movie. But as you can see, this figure is roughly Voyager class height. And as I said, with Barricade, there is enough detail here to have him stand alongside these figures and not look too out of place. Now turning to transformation, it is fairly simplistic. It is only 11 steps. To start off with, you just need to basically untab these sections from here and rotate the waist all the way around. Now that is one of the problems you did see that something did just pop off. These smokestacks pop off all the time. Now I don't know whether that's to prevent breakage as you can just tab them back on. However, I'm probably just gonna end up gluing them. Once you've rotated the waist all the way around, you want to take the arms and collapse them in upon themselves like that. Then you're going to want to take them and rotate them backwards like that so they're at the back of the figure. There are some tabs on the arms as well. As you can see there is like a square slot there, a square peg and a tab there that will just line up and should tab in. They may not tab in the most securest of connections. However, once you get everything lined up, when you've got the top of the cab into place, it will all clip together really nicely. Turn the figure back around and take these sections and push them forwards like that. You then want to come to this section and pull this forward all the way. Now you have to be quite delicate with it as I have had this piece pop off quite a few times it does just tab back on how there is a pain here is all about just lining the flat nose truck section upwards you just want to line all this up 
tab bottom pieces into the arms and that is essentially the flat nose truck section assembled you then want to collapse these sections down and flip out this piece here and we'll tab into place turning to the legs you want to take the feet just untab them and these pieces here will tab into those sections there just give them a squeeze just like that very reminiscent of the evasion mode prime here you just clip these sections together ratchet the legs all the way up flip the wheels out and there are some tabs in there that these sections will peg into so just plug those in just like that and there you have optimus in his flat nose truck mode very reminiscent of his g1 design i do definitely think that that was the inspiration behind this figure he does look identical to how he looked in age of extinction as you can see it is a pretty nice looking truck as well you got some silver paint on the grill and on the headlights smokestacks have been picked out in a silver paint and the rims have been painted in a gum metal silver as you can see there's some really nice detailing inside the wheels the back there is no paint application on the tail lights unfortunately but i just think that it's a really nice well done sculpted vehicle mode now you do have the feet on the back however that was something that was a carryover from the evasion mode prime so it's not like it's nothing that we haven't seen before i do think that the back section is filled out fairly nicely as well so overall it's a pretty nice looking truck now in order to utilize the gimmick the energizer core is very similar to barricades however this time it is blue barricades had a transparent red piece now it works exactly the same um, on optimus you need to take the feet sections and pull them out and doing this will reveal some really nice silver painted cannons as you can see they have been detailed fairly nicely as well they're all picked out in silver the energon core you just simply plug it in like that and that is the energizer core equipped in the truck mode now it does work a lot better than how barricades worked simply just push this section down and the figure will shoot off much more effective than how barricades was you can see it does go quite a far distance as well so there is definitely a lot of kick in this little energizer core to remove it you just simply put it out and collapse these sections inwards overall what do i think of this optimus prime figure personally i think it's great especially for a very simplified toy by hasbro taking inspiration from their previous voyager class figure the transformation on this is really well done he does look very accurate in the robot mode and could actually be a very good substitute for a voyager class optimus prime if optimus appears in the movie looking like this i think the truck mode is really nice the paint applications are very nice as well i would have perhaps liked some more on the upper leg sections however with these kind of more simplified figures you're not going to get excellent paint applications the head sculpt is really good the torso is really detailed and overall it's a very nice looking piece the energizer gimmick works a lot better on optimus than it did on barricade so overall this figure is a success i highly recommend it if you're in the market for a very g1-esque or even just a cool looking optimus prime gimmick toy i hope you enjoyed this review if you did please let me know down in the comment section below and until my next review i'll see you then thanks for watching